You've heard the saying that good things come in small packages. Well, that's what some people think about owning tiny dogs. Hi, I'm Grant. And I'm Allison. And you're watching Continental Kennel Club's Talking Dogs, the show where we're not dogs that are talking, but we are talking about dogs. In this episode, we will count down the eight smallest dog breeds. Number one, the Chihuahua. Named after the largest state in Mexico, early Chihuahuas were imported to the United States in the 1850s. They are saucy, alert, terrier-like, and intelligent. They make for a great family pet. Because of their pint-sized physique, doting pet owners tend to hold and spoil them. This makes it especially important for Chihuahuas to be trained and well socialized early in puppyhood. These small dogs weigh from 1 to 7 pounds and only stand 5 to 10 inches tall. Number 2. Pomeranian The Pomeranian breed, or POM for short, has been a social media favorite for several years. Thanks to famous pup personalities, they have enjoyed their time in the spotlight. But just how small are these pups? These dogs are some of the smallest breeds, which is surprising since their ancestors include the much larger German Spitz breeds. These dogs can weigh from 3 to 7 pounds and stand 7 to 12 inches tall. Number 3. The Pug Pugs originated in China, once exclusively serving as companions to Chinese royalty. They were brought to Holland by Dutch or Portuguese merchants who traded with China. In Holland, Prince William of the House of Orange is credited with helping the pug's popularity to grow. They can weigh 14 to 18 pounds and stand 10 to 14 inches tall. Number 4. Shisu Shisu's ancestors are traced back to the temples of Tibet, where the Tibetan lion dogs were highly regarded as sacred animals. The Shisu breed was eventually brought to China during the 17th century. During the Manchu dynasty, Chinese emperors were given Shisus as a token of kindness and good fortune. They can weigh 9 to 18 pounds and stand 8 to 11 inches tall. Number 5. Toy Poodle The iconic poodle can be traced back to 16th century Germany. The German word used to describe them was poodle, meaning to splash in water. The word was attributed to them due to their love of all things water-related. The toy poodle, the much smaller descendant of the miniature poodle and standard poodle, didn't come onto the scene until the early 1900s. Today, the toy poodle remains one of the most popular small breeds. They weigh between 4 to 8 pounds and stand between 9 and 11 inches. Number 6. Yorkshire Terrier The Yorkshire Terrier was initially bred to hunt and kill small vermin in England. The county of Yorkshire is recognized as the location of the breed's development. Yet, it only played a small part in this breed's mysterious past. It is believed that the breed's roots go back to waterside terriers that were brought from Scotland to England in the mid-19th century. Yorkshire Terriers weigh from 4 to 7 pounds and stand 6 to 7 inches tall. Number 7. Maltese Breed historians believe that the Maltese ancestors were brought to the Malta Islands via Phoenician trade routes. They were used to keep Phoenician trade ships free of vermin and to serve as companions to the sailors and the land-dwelling natives. The little dogs grew in popularity to the point that they were kept as lap or sleeve dogs by wealthy aristocrats and even the Roman governor, Publius. They weigh 6 to 9 pounds and can stand from 7 to 10 inches tall. Number 8. Miniature Dachshund Last on our list is the Miniature Dachshund. The Dachshund's origins can be traced back to Germany's Middle Ages. During this time, personal weapons were not widely available to peasants and hunters, but dogs were. Therefore, German hunters relied heavily on dogs for their ability to provide for their families. The dachshunds were used for hunting badgers. In fact, the name dachshund means badger hound. Dachshunds had to be both relentless and courageous, traits they still possess today. They weigh 10 to 11 pounds and stand 5 to 6 inches tall. Owning a small dog has many benefits, such as ease of handling and care, lower food costs, smaller space requirements, and they're just adorable. But how small is too small? Continental Kennel Club warns against the dangers associated with breeding to size extremes, including extremely small sizes. Many health issues can arise by following these breeding practices. 
Luckily, these issues can be avoided by selecting healthy dogs within the mid-range of their breed standard heights and weight ranges. Thanks for watching this video about small dogs. Have a fun fact about a small breed? Let us know in the comments. Think bigger dogs are better? Check out our 8 of the largest dog breeds video and more. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.